From an outside perspective, it may be easy to spot an unhealthy relationship, whether it is romantic or platonic, and you may be left wondering why the victim of said relationship stays or keeps coming back. It may be all too easy to blame the victim for choosing their abuser over receiving help, but it is not easy to leave when hoovering is involved. Yes, hoovering, not hovering. What is hoovering? Named for the vacuum brand, narcissistic hoovering refers to the techniques used to suck someone back into an unhealthy, toxic, and destructive relationship. We made this video to help you differentiate between real love and hoovering, which is not love but a mean for a control so that you can recognize the signs earlier and leave the relationship. If you have already gone through something similar, we hope this video helps you see through the facade and aids in your healing process. You are not alone. Here are six signs someone in your life is hoovering. Empty promises. Hoovering can start with promises to change for the better and fix everything wrong with a relationship. Your friend, coworker, or significant other may promise to work harder and save what's left of your relationship, but it can be considered hoovering when they don't live up to their promise or forget about it altogether. They have convinced you to stay a little longer, leaving you with a whirlwind of emotions. Psychologist Susan Albers says, it can be a roller coaster for the person being hoovered because you go from being very disappointed to getting everything you want. That promise is exciting, and then it quickly goes away. It can be confusing and leave you feeling manipulated, vulnerable, and frustrated, maybe even angry. Has someone's empty promises made you feel this way lately? Tell us in the comments. You'll see you're not alone. Non-stop contact. To keep your attention trained on them, a narcissist will frequently reach out and try to strike up a conversation. It may be as simple as asking about your day, but if the messages become increasingly frequent and overwhelming, that is a sign of hoovering. They purposely insert themselves into your life, whether you like it or not. It may be hard, but the best thing to do in this situation is to go no contact. Block their number. Do what you have to to limit contact between you and them. In response, the narcissist may attempt to contact you indirectly via family and friends. That is why it is important to confide in your family and friends regarding the end of the relationship. It may seem silly to bring this up with family and friends, but you can protect yourself and distance yourself from the narcissist this way. Over-the-top gestures of love. Love bombing or over-the-top gestures of love can also be considered a dangerous hoovering tactic. Similar to the first point, the narcissist or love bomber will make promises and plans for the future and lavish you with expensive gifts and declarations of love. This tactic is designed to appease you back into the relationship, but please be aware that the love bombing will not last. Some parts of you may be convinced they have changed and truly love you, but remember when you were a couple or just friends? Did they take your concerns to heart? Did they listen to you or comfort you when you were having a bad day? Likely not, but think back anyway. It can be easy to be swooped back into the relationship when your ex-lover or ex-friend does a 180 and changes their tune. But keep their previous behavior in mind and ask yourself, do I want this? Do I want back into this relationship? I'm crazy. You're the one being crazy. Does this phrase sound eerily familiar? A person who's hoovering will often gaslight you in the process of trying to win you back. For those that aren't familiar with the term gaslighting, it refers to subtle manipulation designed to question your sense of reality. The person hoovering you may contradict your memories and paint themselves as the victim in an attempt to convince you you deserve poor treatment. If you question your reality, ask a close friend or family member who may have witnessed your treatment at the hands of the person in question. Confide in someone you trust wholeheartedly and see what they have to say. It helps to have a second perspective, but do not forget to have faith in yourself and how you perceive the world. If you want to learn more about gaslighting, check out our video, Things You Didn't Know Are Gaslighting but I need you. Unfortunately, manufacturing sudden crises are also considered a common hoovering tactic. The crisis can be real or made up for your time and attention. Ultimately, these crises are designed to manipulate you back into the relationship by making you worry and feel guilty about leaving. Examples of exploitative hoovering can include a medical or mental health crisis, the death of a friend, pet, or family member, or even threats of self-harm and suicide. Please remember that these tactics are designed to make you worry and suck you back in, because it would feel cruel to stay away and say no. But saying no does not make you selfish, and it does not make you a bad person. Their well-being is not your responsibility. But if you do feel like their life is genuinely at risk, contact the authorities immediately and explain the situation. 
If you're not comfortable calling the police, consider calling the suicide prevention hotline. Everything is fine. According to licensed marriage and family therapist Nicole Arst, pretending everything is fine or acting as if nothing has changed is another common hoovering behavior. The abuser may still refer to you to others as their friend or significant other despite having broken up. They may text or call you persistently, hoping you will cave in and return to them. They may even show up at your home or place of work and act like you two are still close. This can be understandably overwhelming and downright scary. If you feel unsafe, we encourage you to reach out to your friends, family, and possibly the authorities and take steps to build a strong, structured support system. You have every right to feel safe, and having a strong support system can help you feel secure. In the end, despite what the abuser tells you, none of what happens after is your fault. Choosing yourself and ensuring your physical and mental well-being is not selfish. If you feel like you may be a victim of hoovering, we ask that you take the proper measures to ensure your safety, build a support system, and keep the abuser at bay. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with someone who may also benefit from this information. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date on our latest video. Take care and remember that you matter.